going on guys Tony from Team Divine Pro here coming at you with a card fight Vanguard uh, kind of meta talk meta analysis I guess I only have uh, one deck of cards on hand so just bear with me on this but uh, well actually it kind of helps because the main topic of discussion is Dragonic Overlord the end and how it's been uh, continuously just annihilating the for the English format which is interesting because in Japan if anybody pays attention to the Japan meta, MLB, Majesty Lord Blaster, is the better deck. And in, uh, in playtesting, if you do play against the deck, it is, in reality, the better deck if it has the advantage it gets. So, a little bit further talk into that, Dragonic Overlord the End in the English meta is winning a lot more than the Japanese meta, just because of the fact... well. It's unrestricted right now, but like just because of the fact that nobody really plays MLB and nobody really cares as much as to the consistent factor of MLB as to the amazing ability of Persona Blasting with Dragonic Overlord the end. Like generally the stand like the one that won nationals, the stand triggers, it does make a lot of sense, applying a lot of pressure. But MLB applies a lot more pressure than that stand trigger build because it does have a constant 12k, which you guys might say, oh, that's nothing, but it's guaranteed it's a lot easier. You might take a minus, but in the long run, those two that you added to soul are going to be cards dropped out of your opponent, so you're going to be equaled out. So that generally equals out, and then by the end, the MLB player should be at a more advantageous position because they would have blocked all your Persona Blast attempts to Persona Blast. And being MLB, like Royal Paladins, they can just spam the field so hard that's not even funny. It's just the fact The fact of the matter is that, like, I really honestly believe that MLB should be doing, like, I'm happy for Kagiro, but I really think that MLB in the English match should be doing a lot better because MLB hasn't really shown that it can compete with English players because not enough English players play it, and that's just the fact of, the, of any card game, numbers do play a huge role in it, and if you have more Dragonic Overlord, the end players playing, then it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to see a higher chance of them being the top four, or like the winner. Like, uh, in Nationals, I remember, like, I hear, I heard, like, there was, like, maybe one or few, like, a few MLBs, and, like, one in the top eight, so, like, it's very difficult to win. And on top of that, uh, I'm not, I'm not like, saying anything mean about Dragonic Overlord the end. It's a good card, but I'm just saying that, like, perhaps MLB should have done a lot better than it did. Now, on the other hand, now, trying to beat the deck, it's quite the task, because the deck has quite the abilities, and the main card that you have to fear is Wingle Brave. And now, you might be wondering why I'm saying Wingle Brave, but it's because it's the searcher of the deck. So... The cert, like it can get MLB Blaster Blade Blaster Dark quite easily. So the best thing to do if you were to go, well, if your opponent's still on uh, grade one and then you're on, you're riding to grade two, so you would have gone first, I believe. Uh, yeah, first. The best thing to do is to ride a 10k as your grade two. Why? Like either a 10k or you ride Tejas. Or Berserk Dragon if you have the damage. And you want to snipe out that Wingle Brave. Why you might ask this is because 10k is practically a guaranteed block from your opponent's Wingle Brave hit. Because most of the time they have the Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark in hand to search out later on in the game. But with a 10k, even boosted by a Wingle Brave, your opponent's hitting for 14 with a Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark. And then... You just drop a 10k guard, this is 20k, that means no pass for them. Whereas if you were to have to ride something like Burning Horn, that's a one pass. And that take is quite risky. I do do it just because I don't want them to get the search really badly. But it sometimes doesn't pay off. So playing a 10k is very helpful in those games where you... like. So even if you do have, say, a hand of like this and that... Uh, no, sorry, not a good example, but you haven't... Say you have a hand of cards and you want to save the 10k as a rear guard, I would suggest rather to put this here. Unless if your player, your opponent's like had to ride Starcall Trumpeteer or like but 
bed of the year or like move the Wingle Brave to a different rear guard position because this 10k is a lot more helpful in the long run if you guard it against that Wingle Brave because then their play can go off as quickly as it can because perhaps they're missing the MLB or perhaps they're missing a Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark that gives you one more turn to to start to get ready for it and then you have you're being in an advantageous spot because you have the possibility of perhaps Persona Blasting and getting your advantage off before them. And now, apart from that, uh, another thing would be to use Tejas, like I said. Tejas is a very good card. It is a sniper, and boosted by bar, it hits for 16, which is just over the Wingle Brave. So, it's quite good. And you'd either do that or use perhaps a card such as Gatling Claw Dragon to kill it, but I... Like, I've tried Berserk Dragon, and I've tried, but I just found that the counter boss is too heavy, and I rarely ever get it at the times where you need to kill Wingo Brave, so I'd rather just play Tejas and Bellicosity Dragon. Like, back to the topic, some people might say that Bellicosity is good for a 10k, but, like, the one, you can get grade stuck on Bellicosity, and that could be a huge issue. So, oh, sorry, Strikin, sorry, not Bellicosity. Bellicosity is good, by the way. Uh, strike in, it's uh, it's an iffy card. It's a cute card, as like some people say, but it's not very applicable to the meta right now because everything is hitting above that. Like Kai can hit that. Like even though it hits fifteen, everything like Royal Paladin or Kagiro can just snipe other things and then just like kill you. So it's. A lot more beneficial to have 10Ks like this or a cross shot guard because they're so they can be played at rear guard and they're much more beneficial to you in the long run. Whereas, say this was striking, you'd have to go okay, ride this. It does give you deal, it does help you put pressure, but you lose one drive check, which is a huge thing. And I just don't look at see as it see it as a huge plus. So, I would just suggest riding more garps or anything like that now. Uh, don't know if I have anything left to say, but yeah, apart from that, Kagiro and MLB, Kagiro and Royal Paladin right now are the big contenders of the format, and they are, they should be, because they are really good decks, but I just feel that MLB should have been a little bit better performance, but I do applaud the winner for Nationals for playing six stands, because that did take a lot of uh, thinking to go through, and thinking about replacing the crits with the stands, which is, I, I thought only four, but it does make sense. And I'm not saying that Dragonic Overlord in the end is bad. It's just that I feel that MLB should have done a lot better of a job than it did presenting itself at the singles. But let's wait and see for not, uh, the team qualifier. And hopefully We'll still see Kagiro, because I love this deck so much, but I want to see a little bit more MLB. It does annoy me to say that, but it's kind of true, because, like, the deck should have its moment of, like, glory and shine, because second place went to a Gold Paladin. Like, Gold Paladin's good. It's a rogue deck now, considered rogue, but uh, I just want to see, like, those top tier decks in Japan show up for, like, what they are, because if you see, like, American players have a huge different play style, and that might be play part. Why? But, eh, whatever. So next time, I probably will be talking on the lock mechanic for uh, Cardfight Vanguard in the new Link Joker clan, which is very devastating. And uh, besides that, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, this has been Tony signing off.